So I just recorded a 16 minute long reaction to this and the audio didn't take. So here we are to do it again. Unfortunately, this won't be a first time reaction because I already did that, but I am going to watch it again. I actually want to look, watch this again anyways. So let's jump into it. As you can see, I am wearing my Thanksgiving shirt, which I've had since 2007 when this originally premiered before, well, not before, in the middle of the Grindhouse film experience. And I've worn this shirt every Thanksgiving for the last 16 years now. So do you think I'm excited for this? Do you think that I've been anticipating this movie for a long time and checking on it periodically for a long, long, long time? Yes, I have. Okay, let's once again watch the Thanksgiving official teaser. So, there will be no leftovers. Definitely love to see that tagline. Because the taglines for this for appreciation. were the things people love so much. It's a time to remember our many blessings. To see the parade is very cool. To celebrate the ones that we love the most. And it's time for all families to be together. Milo Mannheim from the zombies movies <laughs> that my kids love. Little Christmas story. <laughs> the cheerleader, great to see. That dude from Hostel. The 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 the, uh, the K being and I've now. Obviously, this is such a teaser. I mean, this is a very minor, minor little thing. Um, so I do want to contrast this with the uh, original trailer, which I'm going to have to cut out little parts of it because the famous, awesome trampoline scene uh, obviously shows off some, some boobies. And... Um, what happened? I had it. Is this it here? It says first part. What does that mean? I don't want half of the trailer. Um, so, yeah. As far as this goes, um, I mean, it's, it's such a small trailer. <laughs> like, it's such a short trailer that it, it's hard to say anything. But I, I see some imagery here that, um, you know rep that goes back harkens back to this original trailer um which is exciting obviously the cheerleader thing i think i think as far as that scene goes probably the most like memorable and iconic scene from the trailer that everyone remembers her you know uh doing the splits on the knife and all that um and to see the the thanksgiving parade you know where the turkey guy gets his head cut off and that kind of stuff. It's cool to see that. The thing I definitely would have liked from this, but I'll, I'll save my, you know, my desires for a different trailer. I'm, I'm hoping that when we get a full trailer, I'll get stuff like this. But one thing that's definitely missing so far is these ridiculous taglines that they would throw into the trailer you know, the arrived hungry leaves stuff that they have on my shirt here. Um, the white meat, dark meat, all will be carved. Like, that kind of stuff. Like, when they they were really hamming it up for that trailer and just having a good time. Now, that was never meant to be, like, a feature-length film. And they were just having fun. And basically, that was the movie, right? So, they were trying to get as much packed in as they could get into, you know, two minutes. And it remained memorable, man. I mean, we've been talking about this movie for 16 years. And so for them to be able to pull that off in a two-minute trailer uh, that's in the middle of, of um, a double feature is pretty interesting. Um, and something that I absolutely have wanted to see just desperately for so long. So for, to see this becoming a reality is pretty wild. Uh, and very exciting, and, and the fact that it's releasing in November like it should is very cool. But let's throw on this other teaser 
uh, the original and watch through that for those of you. Now, for those of you who know nothing about this or just kind of learning about it for the first time here, um, what are your thoughts on seeing this trailer? Does it do anything for you? I mean, obviously this is more geared towards a slasher audience as the original trailer was. Um, you kind of got to be a fan of schlocky 80s horror um, and of course, Thanksgiving is, is the holiday that's best known for not really getting a slasher movie outside of, of course, like Blood Rage, Home Sweet Home, stuff like that. But those are pretty obscure. You never got like a, a, a more well-known slasher that had to deal with uh, Thanksgiving. You got one for Valentine's. You got one for Halloween, obviously. You got one for Christmas. You got one, right? Like they're, they, and those are like more popularized. Those are the things that people would know about um, stuff like blood rage. Now, I don't think that Thanksgiving is, is going to do that for the mainstream, but it will for us. So this will probably be our go-to Thanksgiving uh, movie. If this hits, if this is as successful as, as it could be, then this, this could be the quintessential um, Thanksgiving slasher. But uh, let's throw this on really quick for contrast, but so, of course, the look of this, right, the the grainy imagery and all that, I would love for them to release, like, a Blu-ray copy of that Thanksgiving trailer or Thanksgiving movie when it comes out and to have an option to make it look like this. So here's the parade that we see. So it's cool that we're seeing shots because that's something we all want to see, right? We want to see stuff from this trailer because this was teased to us, but he looks exactly the same. So the pilgrim, the no leftovers, yeah, which is on the poster. Um, this was so fun to see in theaters, guys. You have no idea. It felt so authentic and so fun. And Eli knew we all wanted that. Thanksgiving. This scene here, though, this is where I'm going to have to cut, unfortunately. Oh, God. That girl's amazing. Um, it's hard to tell. Is that this right here, though? <laughs> That's so gnarly. That's so gnarly. There's Eli Roth himself. This is back when he was working with Quentin Tarantino on, like, Hostel, and of course, as Donnie Donowitz in Inglorious Bastards. I like how any guy this girl touches in this movie gets their head cut off. <laughs> I hope that that's a reoccurring gag. That freeze frame there is so 80s. Having Jay Hernandez here from Hostel, that's cool to see, of course. <laughs> this poor girl. Good old Reese from Terminator, Michael Bean. I recognize the other guy, but Lee stuffed. That turkey, dude, when I saw that on the screen back in the day, so funny. And then this, the ending here, will they go this hard in the movie? Right here, where he's fucking that turkey with the, with the like, human head on it. Will... Will we get anything that crazy? I know they're going to have to tone it down, but they showed that, right? Back in 2007, they showed that in an R-rated movie experience with Death Proof and, and uh, Planet Terror. So if they can show it here, why couldn't they show it there? Is there like an accumulation of how much you can show? Or is it just scene by scene? That's okay. I don't know how the MPA works. That's I hate them, So I, but I don't know. Is there like a threshold? Do they say, like, you can only have seven pounds of gore per film? Or, like, what is that? I don't know. Like, why can you fuck a, a, a turkey corpse here with a, with a human head attached to it back in 2007? But now in 2023, could you add that scene into your film? And would it be like, no, that's too much because of everything else you have in your film? The, the accumulation of gore and, and wildness is too much. You have to cut it out for R. Like, is that how that works? Or is it individual basis? Like, it, for me, it should be 
the scene itself is the scene itself inappropriate which of course i would if i was on the mpaa i would approve everything i'd be like no these are adults it's an r-rated movie they should be able to see whatever the hell the director wants them to say sorry get fucked um but anyway is i don't know if that's how that works but uh i definitely hope that we get i'm positive seeing the trampoline scene i'm pretty much positive that we're gonna see the knife through the vagina um so and then will the killer come out in the parade and cut uh, that turkey's head off uh that seems such like a bold move but i can't really get a tone here from this um you got that guy from hostel who's who's uh talking to jay hernandez about killing the gu- killing the girl with the gun and all that in the in the uh end of this trailer here um so yeah you you get some some uh eli roth alums um yeah i'm excited for sure i definitely hope that the full trailer the real trailer adds some cheese to it adds some cool taglines like this one um and as i said if if when the blu-ray comes out if they can add like that that layer over the the copy to make it look like the original trailer to make it look distorted and and grainy and all of that stuff that would be a that would be a really cool special feature to add like a sub you know like subtitles or something you just flip it on and it just covers the screen with that with that grain and everything um but super exciting crazy to think will this get a wide release oh man i kind of doubt it uh probably be more limited but it could i mean it's, it's eli roth i feel like every eli roth movie has gotten a wide release so actually never mind it probably will get a wide release because cabin fever hostile hostile 2 freaking you know house of the clock in its walls uh green inferno um freaking death wish you know all of his movies have gotten uh re- wide releases i don't i can't think of any that he did uh knock knock right like they all got they all got theater releases, so I guess this probably will too. What are you guys thinking? For those of you who know nothing about this, and this is the first time you watch that trailer, what does this do for you? Are you does this make you excited? Are you interested? Because for me, the teaser really is just teasing little stuff from the trailer that I already love. If I just saw this trailer, I would be like, oh, cool, they're making a Thanksgiving slasher. But would I be excited more than just the fact that I want a Thanksgiving slasher and if I didn't see Eli Roth's name attached and I just saw this trailer, would it do much for me? Not really. I mean, I, sort of, because I'm like, cool, a slasher. We haven't, we don't see slashers uh, um, almost at all anymore uh, in theaters. So yeah, hell yeah, bring it on. But there's nothing crazy here. There's nothing like super exciting. You've got that like freezer kill where he freezes her face to the side. That's not all that interesting yet um hopefully in the movie you know he rips her face off and it like tears all the you know skin off of her face and stuff like that i'm I'm, I'm obviously hoping that there's way more to it but as far as this goes this looks like a teaser for us fans that are already there from this old trailer so uh we'll we'll save our our full opinion for a full trailer whenever that drops but i mean i don't even ever need to see a full trailer (laughs) i mean i'm ready i'm let's drop this movie it comes out in two months so i'm fine with this remaining the only trailer but i know that's not going to be the case because they need to appeal to people who don't know this movie so that's it all right 16 minutes uh for the first one didn't take this one better have taken otherwise i ain't doing it again but there you go thanksgiving are you excited i sure as hell am and once again how cool is this shirt it's pretty beat up at this point but you know i've had it forever anyways all right guys adios